Hi guys, I wanted to do a home office tour for you guys. As you are aware, if you follow me on this channel, I recently moved to the Seattle area, so I still have my office in my home. I do intend to keep it that way, um, unless circumstances change. But as of right now, I plan to keep a office within my home, and I thought I would give you guys a quick tour of what my office here looks like, how I managed to get the space to work for me. It is just occupying one bedroom in our four bedroom home. It's a pretty decent sized bedroom, but it actually would have worked better if it was a larger space for me. So I wanted to show you guys how I made it work when it's a little more cramped than I would have liked. All right, so this is my office door. Eventually I want my closet name here, but this leads us inside. Um, this is just what I walk into. So there is a shelf here. It has all previous like posthumous pictures here. Um, I changed out the light bulbs and I took off the cover and our overhead light so that it's nice and bright in here, which works for photographing. So on this wall, I have two of my three shelves that are from Home Depot and then I have my lettered bins. Um, I am probably gonna leave it this way, but actually the ceilings are shorter here. So to get stuff out of these bins, I used to be able to climb all the way up on like a three step ladder and look inside. I can't do that anymore. I have to pull the bins down to get things out, which is really difficult when they're full and heavy. So I have considered putting no bins on the top shelf, which would mean that I would like eliminate two. Um, I'm currently undecided on that. I'm leaving it for now how I always had it, but that's really one of the problems I've run into. But other than that, I'm storing some boxes up here. And on the other wall, which is the same as my photograph wall, I have my additional bins. I have like a tote that has, um, there are pool noodles in there, which I use to stand up boots. I have some of my storage bags that I use to store inventory. Um, bubble mailers and more USPS boxes. The shelf I showed you when you walk into my office is one from Ikea, which is just cubes. So I have cubes in the bottom. This cube is the only one right now that has inventory in it. This is kind of a junk throw all cube. And then I keep extra supplies here. So like Pierre wipes, lint rollers, tape, things like that. And then this has more mailers and storage things like the clear plastic and kind of the same with the drawers i have the padded flat rate small boxes i mean i can change these as i need to extras of poly mailers this is empty right now because i thought i was going to store it on my desk but it gives me more storage and there's a little bit of room to grow up here which i think is a great thing for an office to have a little bit of room to add things as needed um and then the window we have my desk and between that I store my steamer like I said I don't have a ton of room so it needed to be out um, I actually haven't grown my inventory back up enough where I have stuff in these bins but eventually I'll be having to like roll this out of the way I anticipate that being a little annoying but manageable and then we have again the desk um, this is my chair which I got at Office Depot last year and then I have my white desk back. My husband and I in Chicago had swapped desks because we swapped office spaces and didn't want to move all the furniture. So this was originally my desk. I like having white and bright. Um, on here I store poly mailers and the two stickers that I put on packages so that I can pack up at my desk and it's really easy. I'm not like reaching behind me constantly. Um, pins and stuff here and then I have my laptop and the monitor and I use dual monitors when I list. Uh, first drawer, I keep this little pouch with a lot of things that I use often. So I have like a measuring tape, I have stamps that I use in my planner and like things for Instagram pictures and stuff like that, headphones, extra binder clips to grow my inventory, just things along those lines. And then below, I keep the two tapes that I use, so regular and eBay, the Purell wipes that I'm currently using, my lint roller, just some notebooks. This is where I store my thrift receipts. Um, and there's just a little extras back there. And then on this side, I have 
I got these at the container store and I just labeled them so they're easy to grab and organized and self-contained. So this has clothes cleaning supplies, which means like my sweater shaver, um, like a stain remover and things like that. This is shoe cleaning, so like the Wonder Balsam. Um, there's like a shoe shampoo. There is nail polish remover to get like Sharpie off. And this isn't labeled right now, but in here I just have my tag gun to re-tag things if I need to. And then my planner is on top. Down here, my Dymo printer. This is my inventory numbers that are available. So again, they're easy to grab. As I ship things, I can just throw the inventory number in here and it's really easy. And then I have my scale for eBay packages. Over here to the side, I have my hangers. And back here, I just store kind of business stuff I don't use a lot. Like there's eBay stickers. I think there's tissue paper and stuff. And then back there, I have my jewelry display. So, desk, other shelf, and then we have a photograph wall. So my ring light stays here. And when I am photographing things or filming a YouTube video that's not this one, I pull it out and can photograph that way. The light hits it really nicely. And then, one thing I didn't have in my Chicago office that I now do is a closet that I am using for my own purposes. So I kind of just keep my hangers on there. And I would say this closet is a work in progress. It has no shelf in it right now. We do intend to add a shelf ourselves. And then I will store things like hunter boots or taller boots up on that shelf, I think. But for right now, it has two shoe racks so I actually just thrifted this one recently so I can store up to a hundred pairs of shoes on these shoe racks and there's space underneath that boxes fit so that's really nice I keep my magnet sensor remover in case sensors ever get left that's on there uh, this is my light box that I use to photograph shoes so it kind of just tucks in in front of any shoes and then this is my new um, clothing rack so when I do haul videos or if I'm steaming I pull this out and I like that it folds really flat and can fit inside this closet and then back there I basically just have like really big poly mailers a few other odds and ends that I don't need to reach as much but like I said we do intend to add a shelf up there which will be very nice when we do that and then the last area to show you is behind the door. I really try to utilize every space in this office. I think that's important for utilizing a smaller area. So the previous owners left hooks on the door. So I store my camera. Normally I film YouTube videos with a DSLR camera. Um, the one I'm filming on now is a different one that I have and it has it's supposed to have built-in like stabilization so hopefully this video is nice and stable for you guys um, and then I keep a step stool here so that I can reach my higher up inventory bins and not like hurt myself in the process um, besides that we just have a little recycling bin my trash can is under my desk and that is what I have done to make a slightly smaller office I know it's kind of still a generous size space for a lot of you guys but I'm full-time this is what I do for a living so I needed an office space and this is how I made one of the bedrooms in my new house work for me so I hope you guys like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys later bye